I thought I was safe in my city hub, but what the heck? Look, look at this. A freaking bee in my studio. With that said, uh, good morning guys. And today we are gonna talk about why I went to a production school. Why did, why did I go to the Airman Broad Academy? And I hope I can explain a little bit more why I choose that school, why I dropped out of my just normal college and why I pursued this path instead of another one. Why did I go to the Herman Broad Academy and why I choose for that school and why I dropped out of a normal college is quite simple. I was studying at this normal college, uh, I was studying marketing and that kind of stuff and I did really well. It's not that I completely sucked at it but I just, when I was at school I was always making music. When I came back from school I was always like busy doing stuff in the music industry and I wanted to pursue that instead of just a normal 9 to 5 marketing job or whatever I was gonna do. So I dropped out and said to my parents that I dropped out and they were like okay so what's your plan? So I said like I want to go to the Hammond Board Academy and then they said okay cool so what is it? I said like it's a music production school and so around 500 to 1000 people apply every year and only 25 get in. So they were a little looking at me like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, why are you gonna do this? And the chances that you get in are is so small. So should you not do like, have some like backup options and like other schools you wanna go to and all that kind of stuff. So I did, and I said like, no, I wanna do this school. I don't wanna do this. So they were looking at me and they were like, <laughs> okay, so I I did my research. I did research in other schools in the Netherlands as well, and also like international. And I always it's the same as the whole music industry. I always look at what's the average of success rate of like all the students, for instance, that come to this school. What's the average of uh, the singles that get released on this label? So that you get like a little idea of what what's gonna happen if you study at that school and the end products they deliver after three years. So I did my research and Hammond Board Academy came quite on top. They they they're way better than other production schools. So I thought okay let's apply there. So I needed to send out a few uh, send a few demos that I made. I needed to come there and do it you get asked for an interview and then you go there and explain who you are, what makes you different than other producers, other DJs in the world. What's what are you gonna bring to the table that's gonna add something to the music industry in now and three years since they only have twenty five spots and they and they will not make more of them since they don't want to overflow the whole music industry. So with that said, uh, I did all of that and then I was in Spain and I got the call that I got in and I was a little like blown away. I had like no clue why. So my first year at the Hammond Board Academy is not a super brilliant, super awesome year. I came there and there were like 25 So I come from this, let's get back. I come from this little, little super little farmer village here in the Netherlands and around me there were not many music producers or other people that were pursuing the same thing as I did. So I was little like a little bit alone. So when you come to that school and all of a sudden you're with 25 of the most potential or best other DJs, producers in the Netherlands that go to that school, then all of a sudden the like it's right there and you were thinking that you were already like doing quite well and all of a sudden you're not even at one percent of like some of your classmates there are way further they had a management they had a label and all this kind of stuff and i was a little like okay so what am i gonna add towards this classroom that's gonna make me special and it's gonna make me stand out in three years so the first year it was quite a struggle i would say i was one of the uh not the worst, but I was not like I was one of the uh, guys in the classroom that were like less evolved or less like I was not good at anything or like I wasn't just not. So then half that year, the third uh, years came into our classroom and we had a kind of a um, 
like a talk so they were like finishing the school and i was just about like starting getting through the first year and they were we had this whole conversation about like what are you gonna do after the Bot academy and like half of them were like i would say like five of them of the 25 were like pursuing what they wanted to do if, initially and other were like going to do different studies and all that kind of stuff so i was like that literally opened my eyes and I was like, okay, I need to make sure that in now and three years I'm going to make this happen. Otherwise, I'm just going to do need to do another school and study more and do something completely different. I moved out from my parents' home where I'm back at now and I moved to Utrecht to be closer at school to uh, get, got a room there and I literally locked myself up and just... Stay longer at school, learn from the teachers, learn from my classmates and just made sure that I, even though I was the worst, like, yeah, the worst in the beginning, that I would work the hardest of all of them and try to make sure that in now and three years that my passion and my uh, dedication to really work hard um, equals in all the things that they were already ahead of me. So I just worked my ass off and I don't say that they didn't work their ass off they really did I just think that I worked a little harder and a little smarter to catch up with them and eventually go further than what they did at that certain moment so that was my tactic and that's what I I've done the entire Hammer Board Academy and I had so many conversations with teachers and I stayed longer at school to learn more from other classmates to learn more from um, teachers and I put in the work and eventually after three years I started up new projects and everything started uh, going and I started touring America with Matoma then Europe then started doing own shows started releasing music on Spotify um, evolving my network and just everything started to come together but I would say that my first year at Diamond Border Gaming was like by far the hardest year in my entire life because you get into a group of 25 of like super talented people you're just there and you start questioning yourself what am I gonna add towards these other 24 people that are way better or like and and that was kind of my trigger to make sure that in three years that I would be that person that adds something towards my class that I was like one of the people that made it happen in three years so yeah, that's the reason why I went to the Hermann Bot Academy. I learned so much there. So that was kind of my path and why I choose to study at a music uh, production school. And what I've learned there is just a lot. It's like not even... I felt like it was a really good description of uh, a classmate. He felt like that he came in as a little fish and came like out of the school as a grown-up man and I think that's the way you can describe going to a production school and, and especially the Board Academy because you literally come in with so less knowledge and you come out of it so much smarter as, a, as an adult in the music industry and all the basic and all the tips and tricks you just nail them they're just pushing you to know everything and I still don't know everything I'm learning every day but it's just a really you have a head start of 9 out of 10 of other producers that are uh, less um, schooled in the whole music industry and not only in just making uh, music. So with that said, uh, that's the vlog for today and my little talk why I went to the Herman Bot Academy and what I learned there and my whole progress in that. And for now, I, as you guys know, tomorrow I'm flying to Norway, so I need to get my stuff packed. And to be honest, like, I guess I need to buy like a winter jacket and all that kind of stuff. So I need to run to the store and get that kind of stuff because I'm gonna pack my bags, get everything ready, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm gonna travel towards Norway to see the Northern Light. With that said, the uh, doi. And if you want to learn anything more, if you want to know other stuff that I didn't talk about in this episode of like why did I go to a production school just shoot them in the comments and I will answer them there because it's quite hard to um, explain everything in such a short period amount of time so just 
shoot them there and I'll answer them personally and I guess that will help you even more. With that said, uh, really long outro again and I hope you like my little talk of today and uh, thanks for watching and I really appreciate you watching and uh, do it.